Hi everyone, Savannah Tree Foundation Field Manager Jake Henry here, and today we're looking at another tree species that you'll find a lot in downtown Savannah, and this is the lace bark elm or Chinese elm, Ulmus parvifolia. Uh, so this is a non-native tree species, hence the name Chinese elm, uh, that is a really tough urban tree. Uh, it's being utilized more and more in urban areas just because it's a really tough tree. Um, but we've got some interesting things to talk about with this today. So uh, we'll start with just some of the basic characteristics. So we'll take a closer look. Uh, and one of the first things that might jump out when you look at this tree is the bark. So hence the name, uh, it almost has sort of a, a lacy texture, you know, these fine little red marks sort of peels away. Uh, really beautiful bark. It has a lot of good character, almost like a river birch. And the leaves are almost like a small sort of beech or elm, uh, because it is an elm. Uh, but these very small, finely serrated leaves are a pretty good identifier. There aren't a whole lot of plants uh, in the area that have a small serrated leaf like this. And you may notice it also has a pretty dense canopy. They're, they're really lush, uh, provide a lot of good shade, which is another perk of using them in urban areas, especially along walkways or streets where there's a lot of foot traffic. Um, can provide some really great shade, especially in the hot summers down here. Um, <clears throat> however, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, this is a non-native species and it hasn't been used for a long time. You know, it's really just gained popularity recently. And they're finding in other parts of the state in Georgia that it's actually starting to sort of escape out into natural areas and become invasive. Now we've talked about invasives before and essentially what an invasive is, is a non-native species that displaces or causes damage to our native ecosystems. And that's really important. You know, we wanna make sure that anything that we're using isn't going to disrupt our natural areas. Um, it can be really challenging planting in an urban forest because again, there's so many considerations. I mean, if you look around here, we've got concrete over there, all the way around and all the way on this side. So it's really not a lot of space. There's a brick wall behind it. So there's a lot of radiant heat here. You know, this is just such a challenging site to plant native trees but there are options. Um, as popular as this tree is, we always have to try to give a little bit of bias towards our native tree species because we really don't want to end up with a case like this where it starts escaping and causing issues into our native ecosystems. Now again, no such thing as a bad tree, it's right tree, right place, uh, but this is not really the right place for this tree. Back in its native range in Asia, it's a fantastic tree, again, Beautiful character, nice and lush. You know, it's not a bad tree at all. Uh, it's just, we have to be so careful when we bring in non-native species and try to figure out if they're gonna actually cause damage to our native ecosystems or if they'll stay relatively contained. Uh, now it's, it can be challenging. You know, when a tree is this tough, it's likely that it's gonna be able to displace other things. A good example of a non-native that has not become invasive is our uh, ginkgo biloba. So ginkgos are a very slow growing non-native tree, so they really don't outcompete other tree species in our native ecosystem. So finding that balance can be tough, especially in our urban environments, but we always strive to do better and uh, try to keep those native trees on the top of our list. So thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Take care.